guys! Today I'm going to be talking about Bellamy hair extensions and practically everything that you guys have asked that I know the answers to. I get so many questions about Bellamy hair extensions because I know that sometimes it's a little harder to trust a company's video than it is just a basic Joe Schmoes video. So as you can tell by the title, it's kind of like a Bellamy 411. That's what you're going to be learning about. Which set of Bellamy should a person get and should they buy more than one set of them? Honestly, if you have longer hair, and I mean like the length of my hair right now uh, is considered long, the smaller set of Bellamy hair extensions are not going to stretch that far past your hair. So if you're just looking more for thickness, I would definitely get the smaller set because on me, those only stretched about this far past my regular hair like about that much so i'm trying to give you guys like a visual reference i have tried the smaller set and it was not for me so i guess when i wear hair extensions i just expect those long kardashian long luscious hair is what i expect and you definitely will get that with the 22 inch bellamy's the second thing is should the should you buy two sets part if you get two sets of Bellamy's that is gonna be way too much hair when I tell you guys that these hair extensions come with so 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 much hair it is so 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 much hair look how thick these hair extensions are and honestly they were thicker than this when I got them because I've been using mine and curling mine and I have super thick hair naturally so I don't need added thickness and these sets come with so much hair even the smaller set comes with so much hair that I cannot wear all the clips in my hair at once when it comes to should you buy more than one set no you shouldn't unless you just have ridiculously thick hair which I consider myself to have ridiculously thick hair and I don't even use a full set People ask all the time about extensions showing their hair through the extensions like they clip it all in their head and their regular hair is still showing through. First I want to say that that does not happen for Bellamy hair extensions at all. Your natural hair will not show through them at all. Like. Unless, like I said, you have super thick hair. Just want you guys to know that I've never had that happen with my Bellamy's at all. And second of all, something that you can do if you do have to buy two sets of hair extensions is you can clip wefts of hair together so you don't feel like you have just sets and sets and sets of extensions in your head. This is part of my Bellamy set that I have done this on. And you can see there's a weft up here and a weft down here. This technique will work for any hair extensions that you have. So this is how I make it so I don't feel like I have tons of clips of hair in my head. So thumbs up this video if you guys want to see how I actually install my Bellamy's. But I just wanted to like get that point out of the way because I always have questions of girls asking me like what they can do for their hair extensions to make it like feel better on their head to make it not show if you buy two sets even if you have Bellamy's that are just super thick definitely clip your wefts together it works really well and as you can tell on the other side of this there's still just one set of clips so these are the clips that you're gonna clip to your actual head the other set is just hooked on the other set's just hooked on to the one left. So if you guys need a video of how to do that, like please leave it in the comments bar and I'll show you how to do that. But yeah, I'm just trying to help you guys out to understand because explaining it is a little bit harder than actually seeing it firsthand. A lot of people ask me, uh, can you tell me what color of hair extensions that I need? Blah, 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 blah. I do not work for Bellamy hair, so I cannot tell you the answer to that, but you can actually take a picture of yourself in natural lighting and then send in your photo and they will reply to you and tell you what color you need for your hair. But my tip for you is if they tell you something and you're like, oh, I think that's too dark or you think it's too light, 
always better to go lighter than it is to go darker. If you get a set of hair extensions and they are too light for you, you can dye them. They are the same exact thing as regular human hair. You can dye them, you can cut them, you can do whatever you would like to them. What do you do for tangles? Or I'll see comments on people's videos saying, oh, these extensions are so tangly, they mat it up, blah, blah, blah. One thing is, is that the care of your extensions is important. They're only gonna last as long as you care the correct way for them. And I honestly can tell you to use a detangling type of spray. I've had many sets of hair extensions and all of them mat and tangle with my hair. I think it's just my hair texture. So I use detangler in them and it works amazingly. These are just my tips and tricks on Bellamy hair extensions. Every time I get a new set of hair extensions, I will definitely keep you guys posted and give you a one-on-one -on -one video on those extensions. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if there are any more questions about Bellamy hair extensions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section and I will respond to you as soon as I can. So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.